Well, we had a scare. Minor emergency. <laughs> Scout, would you like to tell everyone what you've done? <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> we um we almost lost Scout. Like not like dead lost, but like lost lost. Like yeah. could not find him. Yeah. We heard him. We just got home from Alabama. Mm -hmm. We went to register the, the RV, so we drove there, register, yeah. come back, come back, let him out because he'd been in the carrier all day. So we knew he was gonna run around, and he's running around. And I don't know if we hear him scampering up and down the stairs or through the, you know, across the linoleum. And um, it's really quiet. It was really quiet. And I saw you coming down the stairs, and I thought he was sitting on the stairs over there. Yeah. And I I heard him a little skid, so I looked over and <laughs> and you're like, what are you looking for? I said, I'm looking to see where Scout that. And she goes, I don't know. And uh, looked, he wasn't upstairs. He wasn't downstairs. Normally, no. sometimes he'll hide underneath these ladders yeah. right here, or he'll hide underneath the little hide in where the shoes Shoe are. Hide. He'll yeah. he'll hide up under the. And we we blocked that off because we knew that that was a place where uh, yeah the manufacturer didn't block that off, so he could just fall right down into the belly of the RV. <laughs> we thought every and there was a couple little spaces up by the bed. We put the little um, noodles, foam noodles, little pieces of noodles him. to block off. So we thought everything's safe. He's so big yeah, he that can't he just... can't just get anywhere. I mean, if he was littler, he could get lots of places, but he can't but get like. Apparently, he can get to yeah, some places. We can't get like between the stove or between under the no. fridge or you know behind the fireplace or anything like that. It's all too small for him to get to. And then we heard the scratching. Scratching. Under the island. <laughs> yes. Under the island. Yeah. We had no idea that up under the lip of the island is open. So if you go up in there, you can go back down. Yeah. Under the island. And under the island is the ducting for the furnace. Yeah. And under the sink part, you can get to the underbelly right. of the RV where all of the wiring, right. ducting, and all that stuff is. But under the the drawer side yeah. is actual ducting. You get like down yes. into the yeah, inside the, the ducting. Go in there. And that's where we thought he was. So we'll show you how he got up in there and where we ended up finding him. This is crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So <laughs> we're at scout level. Yeah, this is scout <laughs> level. And so what the scout did was scout scurried up into here. And then when he came to this wall, he's like, oh, I can't go any further. And then he looked up. <laughs> he said, oh, look. And he said, ah, oh, I can get in there. <laughs> and you can see this thing runs the whole length up under here. The whole length. And up under this part is under the sink where it goes to the, directly to the underbelly of the RV. And this is where it goes to the ducting. And you can see the ducting inside there. Yeah. There's a hole in there where the ducting comes out. <laughs> so what, we, what we didn't know was there's a, there's a lid to that. So in an effort to get to Scout, because we think he's in the ducting, we pull this drawer out, and he is sitting on top of this pan, which holds the, uh, which you know blocks off the ducting. Which now then we figured out you can get in from here too. Yeah, you can get in the <laughs> other side. So uh, he both sides of the island, he can get in. And had he actually turned around and went down this way, he could have gotten up under there, and then he would have been down underneath the rv like under the rv um but we found him sitting on the uh on the top of the the ducting shield there so we were able to just reach in and grab him out and now we have to come up with a solution to to block these off we were we were running through the rv like crazy people for there for a little bit yeah because we were like where could he have possibly gone yeah i had no idea I mean, he's he's quite portly so the <laughs> options were limited <laughs> Yeah. But now we know. Never even looked under here. So no. that was a shocker. Well, in the Montana, it was sealed. S yeah. So I just assumed it was under there. Yeah, we never even looked. Look. Yeah. Had this happened when we were not home, uh, um, there's no telling mind. where he might have been or I'm ended up. Crazy. And we, it's not like he doesn't make any noise. So it's not like he can tell us where he's at. Except we're trying to scratch and yeah. he's trying to burrow. Yeah. And I would have tore this RV up. I would have disassembled it down <laughs> to the studs <laughs> to find my baby. She's not lying. She I'm really not would've... lying. We would have to get a whole new RV already because I would have tore this one up with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Diving in for my baby. <laughs>
And since this whole incident began, Scout has been like a statue, frozen. I think he's a little freaked out. But he hasn't moved. You are grounded, sir. Here is the temporary solution to the problem. Cut some strips of uh, cardboard, Leslie did. Probably got blisters from the scissors now. Uh -huh. And a uh, staple gun, because we don't know if this is going to be our permanent solution or not. We don't want to screw a bunch of screws in and stuff. Just I, can, the I can tell you right now, it's not the permanent solution. Yeah. So, but for now, we're going to tack this up under there, staple it in, and at least it'll buy us some time. It'll let Scout still be free range until we can figure out what the permanent solution is going to be. In a previous video, you saw the, uh, the fix we had for underneath the shoe cubby stair. And this is like that decorative screen. So we'll probably get something like that as a more permanent fix for this. But in the meantime, we just got to get something on this island so that we don't lose Scout again. There it is, our fabulous solution. Temporary solution. Yeah. It'll keep them out of there for now. Just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. Not fun. Wasn't that bad? Well, here's a fun fact. Not all staples are universal to every staple gun. There is a light duty, which is like more for like your home use, like classroom corkboard in elementary school. It's your crafting. <laughs> which we had. That's yeah. the staple gun that we had. But we had heavy duty staples. Yeah. And we were looking through, trying to load this stupid thing for 20 minutes. And look, you know you feel stupid when you have to look up on YouTube how, how to, to load, load a staple gun. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Even our specific model. And there was a video. Yeah, it was a good video. It was a good video. <laughs> but our still wouldn't load. And I was like, why with these stupid staples? Somebody had a little temper tantrum. Yeah, so at first I thought that there was something wrong with our staples. Yeah. I went back over to the PX, which mm -hmm. is a post exchange, if, you, if you're on the post, which we are right now, and um, got more staples. Got like a multi pack. Multi -pack because yeah. I was like, maybe we had the wrong size or something. So I got a multi pack with a bunch of different sizes. We come in, none of them fit. <laughs> so I'm getting pissed. So I just spent like eight bucks on staples, yeah. right? And then I'm like, I'm just gonna go buy a new gun because something obviously wrong with the gun. Yeah, yeah. So then I go to the store and I'm looking at the gun and it says heavy duty and I see other staples that say light duty and I see staple guns that say light duty. And I'm like, I wonder if that has something to do with why our staples won't fit. <laughs> and it, it is, Damn. that is what happened. So yeah. we got the heavy duty staple gun now with yeah. the heavy duty staples and, and now we have a ton of staples. <laughs> we can't go staple happy. <laughs> Because we already had staples. We already had a bunch, we had of, staples. A bunch of staples. They were all heavy duty, but we didn't know. So I bought a bunch of more heavy duty yeah. staples for our light duty staple gun. <laughs> so now we have this big gallon Ziploc bag full of staples. <laughs> it's like a lifetime supply of staples. It is. <laughs> we used like six staples <laughs> on the project. <laughs> Just have to find some project. <laughs> $15 on the gun, $8 on staples. I got wounded. All because of this guy. This guy. Hey, that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know it was bad to go in there. Yeah, but the things that we will do for our scaly babies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, look at that face. How could you be <laughs> mad at that face? <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Well, the temporary solution's in place. Uh, we are going to later on do a video all about Scout and how we travel with yeah. a bearded dragon. So uh, we're not going to include it on this video, but when we get a solution for that, we'll include it on that video. Mm -hmm. And I'll talk about everything that we do for Scout in and around the RV and our travel days. Yeah. So look for that coming up soon. This project is complete. <laughs> Only took us 20 Two something hours. dollars, a couple of hours, a <laughs> couple of scrapes. Almost launched a staple gun across the RV park, but hey, it's all done. And our little bug is safe. Yes. So um, a little bit, a little bit scary. Panic it, there at it first. It was to hear him scratching under that yeah. island and not know where he was in that island. And heart sunk. I mean, really, huh. we're full on prepared to destroy the RV. I was so prepared. I was thinking, yeah. where is 
The rubber mallet. I'm about to beat this yeah. island apart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, he's safe and sound. Thank yeah. you all for your concerns. I'm sure there's going to be comments yeah. that's saying that they're, you're glad that Scout's okay. We're glad that Scout's okay, too. And I'm glad I didn't have to destroy the RV. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to learn all the ways that you can help us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is in the description of the video below. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate your concern for Scout. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, baby. Bye, buddy. I'm safe. I'm safe. <laughs> we can mark you safe on Facebook. Marked safe yeah. from getting lost in the RV. Yeah. <laughs>